How to install Peppermint 9 in VirtualBox. First in our VirtualBox manager we need to set up a new VirtualBox. We will call it Peppermint 9. Type is Linux and the version Ubuntu 64 bit. If you're using 32 bit, then change that to 32 bit. But we are using 64 bit, so we will choose that one. Then we'll click on Next. This is for the amount of memory. I'm going to increase that to around 2 gigabytes. Click Next. Create a virtual hard disk now. Click Create. Virtual box disk image. Click Next. Dynamically allocated. Click Next. Here you can select how much space can, will be used on the hard drive. We'll up that to say 30 gigs, which is probably more than what's needed for a basic installation. I believe you can leave it at the default of 10 gig. Then click create. So now we have our new VirtualBox. Just a couple of settings I like to change. Go to network, default is NAT, I like to change that to bridged adapter. If you leave it on NAT it will have a different IP address to the rest of your network. With bridged adapter it will have the same network IP address which means that um, you can share files easier. But that's personal choice and that's up to you. Uh, display defaults to 60 megabytes I'll increase that a little bit up to say 32 and then finally we go to storage controller IDE click on empty and here we're going to select our ISO select choose virtual optical disk file From here you can select your ISO file, click open, so now we have our Peppermint 9 ISO file loaded already, so click on OK, so now when we click start, it should start booting up into the boot menu. Now if you want to go into live, press the tab key and you'll see at the bottom here some text will come up after the word where it says splash, type no mode set, n-o-m-o-d-e-s-e-d -E -E and press return. We can close these little warnings. The live view doesn't have VirtualBox guests installed by default, so this has gone a bit off screen. So I'm going to go to Menu, Settings, display and make it a little bit smaller there you go now we can see the whole screen albeit a bit small but what we're going to do from here is to install so we double click on install peppermint 9 
language is English, that's fine. I will continue. I'm in the UK, so from here, this is the keyboard layout. I will select UK English. And you will notice that the flag in the panel will change to your country. So that's fine. We click continue. At the moment, normal installation and minimal installation for Peppermint 9 are both the same. There's no difference between them, so we can leave that as normal installation. Personally, I don't download updates while installing. It takes longer and it's just another area that may cause an error. It's unlikely, but I don't select it, but I do select install third party software. So we could click on continue. Now we wait for the next screen. Okay, I'm going to use the whole disk. So I'll leave the first option selected, erase disk and install peppermint. Just click on install now. Right changes to the disks. Continue. My location, London, I'm not that far off from there. Let's continue. Put in your username. You can change the computer name if you want. And a nice long secure password. You click on continue. Now we wait for it to copy files. I'll skip ahead to the next part. Now it's installing the system. Okay, once that's complete, we can click on Restart Now. Again, we can close. Um, I don't think they're warning some more information things. <laughs> okay, type in our password. Press return. So the next thing we need to do is to install the guest editions. So we click on Terminal and type sudo apt install gcc make press return put your password in return Type Y for yes, press return.
Okay, once that's completed, we can close the terminal. And if we click on devices at the top, when it rebooted, it should have removed the Peppermint 9 disk. But if it hasn't, you can click remove disk from virtual drive at the bottom. But as you can see here, that it has already been removed. So if we go to the bottom of the menu, we can click on insert guest edition CD image. So now we open our file manager. And under devices is the virtual box guest editions. Right click, open as root, put in your password, OK. You need to double click on VBox Linux editions run and then select run. And this will install the guest editions. This may take a little while. It stops at this bit for a while before completing. And eventually it will come up with a little message that says press return to close this window. So press return. So now we can close our file managers. Go to menu, settings, display, and change the display to something that will fill the window. Now that your Peppermint 9 is set up in VirtualBox, you can now use it as normal. If you have any problems, you can use the Peppermint forums. There are some very helpful people on the forum. Most questions seem to get answered very quickly. And they're very new user friendly. So if you're new to Linux and you have any questions, then don't hesitate to join the forum and ask whatever you want. So for now that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it of use and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.